The electric rollerblade suit is a unique and high-end piece of equipment priced at $7,000 that transforms your entire body into a giant rollerblade. This wearable device is fitted with wheels all over the arms, legs, and torso, allowing users to rollerblade at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour with minimal effort. The suit is powered by electric motors that are attached to rollerblades on the user's hands, feet, and torso. These motors are controlled by a remote control that the user holds in their hand. The suit is made of lightweight and durable materials and is designed to be comfortable to wear for extended periods of time. It also features a number of safety features such as a padded helmet, gloves, and knee and elbow pads. This allows you to experience life in the fast lane by hitting the streets in your very own electric rollerblade suit. It's an extreme downhill rollerblading suit and is a lot of fun to ride. Electric rollerblade suits are still in their early stages of development, but they have the potential to revolutionize the way people get around. The Lexus Hoverboard, also known as the Slide, is a groundbreaking piece of technology that pushes the boundaries of personal transportation. Developed by Lexus, it employs magnetic levitation to defy gravity, allowing riders to flow 3 to 4 inches above the ground with style. The Hoverboard resembles a skateboard in size and shape, and is designed with an elegant and luxurious style. The main focus of the demonstration is the levitation of the Hoverboard, achieved through the use of superconductors inside the board and a magnetic track. The board itself is made of bamboo and carbon fiber support structures and has 32 yttrium barium copper oxide superconductors cooled by liquid nitrogen. This allows the board to operate for an average time of about 20 minutes on maximum liquid nitrogen onboard capacity. The hoverboard was unveiled in 2015, with Lexus building a skate park in Cubells, Barcelona, Spain for the slide project. The entire skate park has magnetic tracks concealed beneath a thin layer of wood to demonstrate the board's capabilities. While the hoverboard remains a prototype and is not available for commercial use, it showcases Lexus's commitment to innovation and futuristic mobility. The engineers at Retest Flight built this fun and entertaining 2x6 electric scooter with handles and seats that can accommodate two people and call it an overland canoe, even though it's not actually a canoe. This sparked the idea of creating a canoe that could travel on land using parts from an electric skateboard. The project involves attaching electric skateboard trucks to canoes. This allows the canoe to propel itself on land using electric motors, similar to an electric skateboard. Riding a land canoe is similar to riding an electric skateboard in that it is powered by electric motors and controlled remotely. The Poimo is an inflatable electric scooter developed by the University of Tokyo and Mercury R4D. It can be deflated and folded down to fit inside a backpack. The scooter is made from thermoplastic polyurethane and includes detachable components like handles, wheels, a battery, and a motor. It can be inflated within minutes using a small pump. The scooter is light enough to be deflated, folded down, and carried around in a user's bag. The rigid components of the scooter, which include two 8-inch front wheels, two 6-inch rear wheels, a motor, a built-in wireless controller, the soft body of the scooter is designed to protect pedestrians as well as the rider in the event of an accident. The inflatable characteristic of the scooter also means it can be easily customized. The functioning prototype reportedly tips the scales at about 12.5 pounds, has a top speed of 3.7 miles per hour, and runs for approximately one hour per charge. It was developed in partnership with Japanese tech startup Mercury R4D. The Poimo is currently just a prototype, but the developers aim to make the final product lighter and even more portable. They believe that this new form of mobility could be useful for short-range travel and could help reduce congestion and greenhouse gas emissions. The Poimo is still in the prototype stage, but it has the potential to revolutionize personal transportation. It could be a popular option for commuters who want to travel more efficiently and environmentally friendly. Avera is an electric car designed by Alex Scrabeco. It's designed for both personal and commercial use. The car is inspired by the aesthetics of the future, exclusive ergonomics, and the opportunity to feel like a professional racer. Avera has several outstanding advantages such as lightweight, dynamic, space-saving size, ecologically friendly, cost-efficient, safe due to high stability, easy to drive, and fancy design. It combines the benefits of a bike and a car, making it a hybrid with the safety of a car and the mobility of a bike. The prototype of Avera has already been built and 
and successfully presented at local exhibitions and forums. This is the fifth attempt to produce such a car. Previous attempts were not fully technically viable. The team learned from the mistakes and are excited by the current usage of Evera for everyday life needs. Their goal is to give the same opportunity to as many people as possible, whether they will use it personally or for business needs. The Nimbus Tiny EV prototype is a modern motorbike with an air roof. The Nimbus One offers the comfort and pleasure of a motorcycle while providing the safety of a smaller car. Undoubtedly, the Nimbus One is one of the most unique e-bikes on the market right now, with a futuristic-looking shape and stylish doors that open to reveal an exceptional interior. Measuring 91 inches in length and 34 inches in width, the e-bike is about 3 to 5 times smaller than a compact car, allowing for better parking space and less crowded walks around town. The body of the Nimbus One is is made from high-strength steel with a thermoplastic shell, giving the vehicle a curb weight of 827 pounds. The US market classifies the Nimbus One as an autocycle, meaning that it provides the best of both worlds between cars and motorbikes. Due to its three-wheel configuration and safety features, the Nimbus One can be driven with a normal driver's license and without a helmet. The Nimbus One EV is controlled like a car, with a steering wheel, brake, and accelerator pedals. As publicized, the Nimbus One is exclusively built for city traveling. According to the company, the EV is equipped with a 9 kilowatt hour battery, which gives it a maximum driving range of 93 miles. Thankfully, with this range, especially in the city, you might drive the motorcycle for a few days before you need recharging. Speaking of which, its battery charges in 1.2 hours on a level 2 charger and 5.4 hours on home power. Like contemporary e-bikes, the Nimbus One has a removable battery, so it has the advantage that it can be recharged even when you take it home. According to Known from Nimbus, the Nimbus One has a minimalist interior that gives its driver a decent cabin space with 38.6 inches of headroom and 28.5 inches of shoulder room. There is also space behind the driver's seat to accommodate an additional passenger or store items such as groceries. Its interior includes desirable features such as a display, a fast phone charging system, Bluetooth connected speakers, power windows, a heating function, and optional climate control. On average, the Nimbus can accelerate from 0 to 30 miles per hour in about 3 seconds, placing it above most counterparts in the market. The top speed is only 50 miles per hour, making it perfect for city driving. When making turns, the Nimbus One tilts as you would on a motorcycle. This is all regulated by the Nimbus Balance, a feature that keeps the vehicle automatically centered and balanced. The Nimbus One will cost just under $10,000 to purchase, or about $200 a month to rent. Have you ever wondered about having a collapsible and wearable vehicle? The W Scooter is a unique, collapsible, and wearable vehicle that offers a novel solution to transportation challenges. This human-powered collapsible scooter can be worn around the waist, making transportation easier and more convenient. It's designed to meet both the portability and leg-powered transportation needs. The scooter folds to become wearable around the user's waist, appearing as something compact and handy. Even if you are on one of the sleekest vehicles or bicycles, you have to park them to get into the party, but with the W Scooter, Scooter. All you have to do is fold it as if some robotic transformation is happening and then wear it around your waist like a belt. The W Scooter is manufactured from plywood and iron, weighing 3.75 pounds. This lightweight design makes it easy to carry and wear. The incredible design and shape allow the W Scooter to fold, and whenever you need to get on your W Scooter, just take it off your waist, adjust it into its working shape, and you are ready to dash towards your destination in just seconds. The W Scooter fits your body perfectly and when you want to move, you just unfold it and go. Now with this scooter, you can go anywhere you want without worrying about parking. The Concept 1865 is an e-bike developed by BASF in collaboration with Ding 3000. This unique e-bike is a thought experiment that illustrates the extraordinary applications of modern plastics. The bike is made almost entirely of plastics, with only its brakes, axles, and motor still made of metal. The design of the Concept 1865 e-bike is inspired by the Velocipede of the 19th century, which was given its first pedals in the year 1865, when BASF was founded. The Concept 1865 e-bike is a ready-to-ride prototype with an electric drive and is made of 24 innovative materials from BASF's product portfolio. These materials are expected to play a significant role as electromobility advances. The bike showcases the potential of these materials, including high-performance plastics, specialty foams, epoxy resin, and polyurethane. This e-bike is not just a tribute to the past, but also a glimpse into the future of electromobility and the potential applications of modern materials.
The Monotrack Bike AKS is a unique vehicle that combines the features of a Caterpillar track and a regular wheel. Despite its resemblance to half of a bike, this was not intentional. The bike's distinct look and small size give it agility, allowing it to navigate tight spaces where regular motorcycles can't fit. Compared to a standard sport bike, this Monotrack bike is about half the size. Its track wheel design spreads its weight across a wider surface, making it perfect for soft terrains. So, it's more than just half of a sports bike. It's a compact bike capable of tackling challenging obstacles and maneuvering through the city with ease. This innovative design truly sets the monotrack bike by AKS apart in the realm of motorbikes. This shape-shifting bike, designed for railway track inspections, transforms into a swanky EV when off-duty. What do railways and motorcycles have in common? Plenty, if artist Hickey Wong has anything to say about it. The railway motorcycle is her design, and it's an electric motorbike with a difference. It can ride the rails and the roads. Although it's just a concept at this point, it's definitely one that's worthy of further study. According to the design, the bike makes use of cleverly designed body panels on either side of the middle. The rider can slide them down so they can securely grip a rail. When the rider opens the throttle, they can then ride down the rail, locked on top of it, with stability as they go. To be absolutely clear, no details on how the system is stabilized are available at present, as this is just a concept. Out on the street, of course, the railway motorcycle is just a uniquely designed electric motorbike, at least that seems to be the idea. Power, battery capacity, top speed, and other features aren't available yet because this is still only a design concept and not an actual bike. While it's a unique and interesting design, and one that seems like it has intriguing potential, we do have some questions. The biggest one is, where is a railway maintenance worker supposed to keep their tools and other equipment? Can the railway motorcycle tow a little rail-mounted cart behind it to load that stuff into? Some other electric motorbikes are quite good at towing, especially relatively short distances like the RM would most frequently traverse. Another question is, while the design looks cool on paper and in renderings, how practical is it for an actual human to ride? The ergonomics look somewhat questionable for anyone who doesn't want to, or can't, crouch on a motorbike. Still, the railway motorcycle is an interesting exercise in connecting our shared future to the present, using future solutions to solve modern problems.